hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to use unlinked method what is the purpose of the unlinked method how we can override the unlinked method and in case you missed previous discussion about how to override or what is copy method please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot in the home screen you can see your design link development tutorial and right now we are working on this playlist odoo orm methods for version 17 and version 18 and this is the main playlist of the odoo 17 development tutorial and those three playlist is the sub playlist of this playlist so this is the main playlist of the odoo 17 development tutorial all right and guys one more thing don't forget to visit the community tab because here i'm providing some useful informations and you can see here python angular odoo functional and technical and devops related some questions right you can uh, try to uh, review those questions so let's back to our main topic like what is unlinked method right so in odoo orm whenever you are trying to delete the records right or let's say remove the records that means it will go through the unlinked method so for example let's say if i'm trying to delete this one record right using here like first i will select the record i'm going to action and you can see here the delete option is available right once i click here that means it will box like this and once you click here so it will permanently delete from the database side so that is the purpose of the unlinked method so not only here in the list view but let's say if you open the form view you can see here the action menu and here you can also delete this record right and after that it will automatically forward to the next record here you can see now total 18 record is available for the mass deleting you can also select multiple records and just click once and it will automatically delete those two records and now you can see here total 18 from 18 records now it's a 16 record is available so that is the purpose of the unlinked method now i hope you understood about what is the purpose of the unlinked method right and and what it does now the thing is we are trying to implement in our custom method like the, for example we are trying to delete manually using our button click event to any of the records okay so for that so here like i'm using custom add-ons student right here in the models and you can see this is wb.student here now here i'm trying to create one more method which is delete records okay self like this way and this method i have to register into the views of the form view right so you can see here like this way and simple i will copy this module name and i will try to add in in this pycharm terminal so once i will upgrade them or let's say restart the start the service so it will automatically upgrade the module guys if you didn't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained everything over there so once i will start it will automatically upgrade the module and once i will refresh the screen you can see now this button is also available okay once i click to this button that means it will automatically print this record set why because you can see here i'm trying to print the self so what is the purpose of the self right whenever you create any methods right including the odoo existing methods or the custom methods the first parameter always should be the instance of the class or the model so here in this case the instance is wp.student you can see here and the record is the second record 
for double confirmation you can see here id equal to 2 in the header part right now uh, what i have to do is like i will try to manually delete school the school record okay so for example if i will duplicate the tab i'm going to the school profile and now you can see here total 24 record is here right and you can see here uh, this is the id of the database the first colon the name and the total amount and the currency right now we have to focus on this id so here let's say wb dot school self dot env right and here like I have to browse first 69 record so guys don't worry about this ORM method this is supported by Odoo the browse method automatically return the record set of this ID okay what is the record set so this is record set we already provided here so give me wb.school record set from this ID so this is the main purpose of this browse method here i'm trying to unlink this method so so for that like let's say if i have to delete this record so first thing is i have to convert this id to the record set and after the record set by default all the models custom model even the odus by default models supported unlink method so i have to just call this unlink that's it and after automatically Odoo remove from the database so let's say school ID okay and then after what I will do is like I will try to remove this school underscore ID right using unlinked method that's it so for that like i will not use here upgrade because i just need to restart the service the service okay now now you can see total 24 record is here the last record is 69 record right and the name is w uh, sorry weblands 5 record once i click right and if you see here the current instance is the student right the record set converted the these 69 id converted into record set right and the true so it unlink method return true or false so technically the boolean type unlink method is written true means successfully deleted and false means it somehow due to some condition it's not able to update so due to that in that case it's written false right so true means successfully deleted and now let's see here uh, let me refresh the screen you can see 23 record is available right before it was 24 and if you see here like you can see here last is the 68 previously it was 69 right so like that way you can just unlink or let's say the delete the record i hope you understood let's say if you want to remove any models data record set specifically so in that case you have to use like this and uh, the record set name then after dot and the unlink that's it another thing is how you can also override the unlink method right so that is the very easy way you can unlink the method let's say def unlink and uh, by default the self parameter should be always there right and we have to return true or false right but here we don't need to pass anything we just need to call the super method so for that like rtn the variable i'm using here you can add any name here I am trying to call the super method right and then after I have to provide the class name then after the self as a parameter and here simple I will use here 
the unlink this method and simple i will use here rdm so let's say here print unlink method for right then after the how many record set we are getting to delete the records so we have to pass here as a test purpose and what is the return type we have to use right so here i'm trying to use rdm that's it and let's say unlink method logic finish now i'm trying to restart the service removing all the logs okay here you can see it's a 69 right and once i click here so it will give me i think error message why because right now still i'm using the 69 record okay so let's see whether it will rise the error or it goes smoothly without any error message so pause this video and uh, comment it out okay so yeah let's see what we will get right so we are not getting anything that is true the thing is so you can see here it's not printing anything here right and you can see here this log message right delete wb dots to the uh, school records with id 69 is deleted right the thing is this method we have to override in the school method not in the student right now you can see we override unlink method of the student profile right so for the school profile we have to use here like this and let's see here Another thing is while we are using this browse method, right, of any non existing ID, that means Odoo is not checking in the backend side. Okay, so it will automatically return the record set. And whatsoever you are doing here with this unlinked method, it won't be rise and issue. So that is the main thing here. Once I click here, now it's rise the error okay let's check the specific error message type error super type object right object must be instance or subtype of type so here like while we implemented this unlinked method we have to use here the school instead of the student right so due to that it's rise that error message now now it's everything is perfect right and now you can see here this wb dot student right so this is the instance of the first print statement because we are called first it calls this delete underscore record method right after we are trying to convert this id to the record set of wb dot school and after we are printing this record set right and after you can see it's called the unlinked method why because you can see here in the line number 92 we are calling unlinked method so it will call this method right because as of now we override the school models method right so unlinked method call is print out then after what is the self right the current record set it says 69 right after it says true it's deleted from the database then after again the unlinked method logic is finished here and once we return the true or false based on the receive from the super it will again print the statement so again it's called the true so here in this case this custom our custom method the three print statement we have to exclude the first one second one and the last one and rest you can see this for statement it's coming from here okay another thing is you can also mass delete 
the records okay so for that we have to provide here the list 68 then after you can see here 67 65 to 68 okay 65 66 67 68 so total four records i want to delete from this wb dot school okay so for that like i have to just restart the service remove the logs once i will refresh the screen you can see total 23 record is available right here once i click immediately once i will refresh the screen 19 record is available why because here you can see total four records automatically deleted from the database using the unlink method okay here uh, if you have uh, some questions let's say if i will try to delete one more time right it should be raise some exception let's say the records is not found okay so for that we already have one more method which is exist method that method we will see in our upcoming session so as of now you have one more exercise how you can prevent this let's say if i am passing here wrong id and it will automatically convert into record set so in the delete while unlink so here we have to check one more time whether that id is available in the database or not okay so for that you have to do some logic here okay so till now if you have any doubt regarding this method specifically unlinked method please comment below and see you in our next session and one more thing is i forgot to explain which is unlinked method don't have any parameter and unlinked method which is not supported any decorators at the moment okay so before we already talked about the copy method so copy method we have to also pass decorator which is not compulsory but it's optional but here optional parameters is also not available so yeah that's it see you in our next session regarding the exist method all right